let's talk about how to erase and repattern self-defeating mental patterns. Okay. Do you ever experience negative thoughts that are self-defeating? Maybe you aren't sure if you do. So first off, here are some reflective questions to know if you engage in self-defeating thoughts and you know the patterns in your mind, and, and they can lead to self-defeating behaviors too, okay? Okay, do you feel that every time you take a step forward, you automatically take a few steps back? Is that a pattern in your life? You move forward and then you feel like you're going back. Mm -hmm. Do you find yourself engaging in self-sabotaging behaviors? Now there's all sorts of self-sabotaging behaviors. Okay, it can be, it can be anything, all right? You, I'm, I want you to develop an awareness that what, what doesn't work for you anymore. Do you have self-sabotaging behaviors? Do you have negative thoughts about yourself or your ability to reach your goals? Do you continue to engage in unhealthy habits even though you know they are keeping you from growing? Reflective questions, that's all. Did you answer yes to any of them? Because your thoughts are powerful, they're loud and they're undeniable and they interfere, they undeniably interfere with your quest for achieving greatness. And I'm all about you achieving greatness in your life. I believe you have a desire to more fully and but and deep down, there's this desire to live more fully and embrace, um, I should say, to experience more abundance and eradicate, like let's get rid of, right, the fears. Because fears dictate paths. Fears hold us back. And if we're constantly being dictated by fears, we cannot move forward in our life journey makes it so much harder. Fears manifest into distorted energy, self-defeating thoughts that attach themselves to our core beliefs that we were born with, creating an illusion energy of who we really are and what we're really capable of. And these negative thoughts and self-defeating panders mask themselves as a way of protecting you from disappointment, heartbreak, and failure. But really, they are a barrier standing in your path to your divine potential. Self-defeating patterns hijack your happiness and sabotage your growth. So you might be asking, how do you break through and erase these, these negative thought patterns? You know, those thoughts that repeat like a broken record of negative banter inside your head that continues to loop. You say the wrong thing to somebody. In hindsight, you think you've said the wrong thing and you go over and over how you wish you had said it, how you would say it now if you had been thinking clearly. That's looping as an example. Pulling you into a world of scarcity, disempowerment and self-punishment. To help identify why you keep falling into these thoughts of self-defeat, I want to ask, I want you to ask yourself these questions. Now, these are questions you can answer in the group. Comment below if you want to, if you want to share your comments, okay? You've been with me long enough to know that I will respond to you. And I will come back, I'll pop on back onto the Zoom screen here or the Facebook screen and I'll and I'll speak to them directly too. The first question is, ask yourself, what do I do that I am holding myself back from, right? 
what, I, not what do I do? What do I think I am holding myself back from? What do I think I'm holding myself back from? Get into the center of your body, okay? Close your eyes and ask yourself, what do I think I'm holding myself back for, from? Just your first answer. Challenge those little thoughts that creep into and settle themselves in the deepest corner of your mind, okay? Ask yourself, what am I really afraid of? What am I really afraid of? Ask yourself, what are the negative thoughts inside my head pretending to protect me from? What are they trying to protect you from? There's always something, okay? Are they protecting you from being criticized? Are they protecting you from negative judgment? Are they protecting you right from failure? What are they protecting you from? You see, self-awareness allows and gives us the opportunity to rise up and obtain that love and light from source energy. It fills our body with strength, and courage, and enlightenment. And I want that for you. You wouldn't, were not put on planet Earth to suffer by self-defeat, okay? You weren't put on self on Earth, okay, to live in self-sabotage or self-punishment. You have always been meant to thrive, to follow your soul-led purpose, and to savor life moments. So here are some cognitive ways, okay, for you to eliminate self-defeating patterns and to regain hold of you reaching your dreams. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to breathe. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as it sounds, okay? Don't overcomplicate it. You do not need to go into a long breathing exercise. I want you to become mindful of your breath. Because oftentimes in negative thought patterns, we become shallow in the breath. Breathing intervenes the negative thinking by slowing down your heart rate, it eases anxiety, and it slows down the pace at which your mind is thinking. It's a pattern disruptor. By slowing down your thoughts, you are less likely to react on impulse and you can pause. The breath creates a pause so that you can challenge your thought process to then to, right, test your reality next. What's the reality of this? Remember, these thoughts are in your head, are not real. Take time to question why you feel this way. What is making you think this is how it is, okay? And you could ask yourself, what is the evidence? What is my evidence for this thought? It's a great question. What is my evidence for this thought? Is it my interpretation or factual? Now here's where it gets tricky. There's probably some true facts involved in your thought process. That's how we make them rock solid, okay? So always know there's going to be a thread sum in there of truth due to an experience you've had or in an inherited way of feeling and thinking. Both are real. Both contribute. Ask yourself, am I allowing this, this disbelief to define me? That's a great clarifying question. Am I allowing this belief to define me? Is this belief holding me back from my truth? Is the situation really as bad as it seems? Over time, as you do this, your brain will start to recognize inaccuracies and it will stop itself from formulating irrational conclusions. 
it will allow you to create a happy place. Actually, what I want to say is it will allow you then to go into the next one, which is create a happy place. Okay, so you see we're working on our mind and now I want you to create a happy place. Include things that actually make you happy in your space. Next was create a happy place. This is important, okay? It includes things that actually make you happy in your space, okay? Put together a collage of your favorite people, a collage of your fur kids, right? Create a playlist of your favorite music. Music raises frequency vibration, okay? Make a, make a list of your favorite music to listen to. If you have cards or notes from loved ones, stick them in your wallet, put them in your car, put them where you see them, okay? Open them up. All right, take a screenshot of inspirational or motivational posts to keep on your phone. If you can go out, right? Head to your favorite place. Go to your favorite place in nature. You know I talk about this a lot. Especially right now where there's so many shifts in, in the different levels of energy. Everybody on planet Earth right now is experiencing these shifts. Even if they try not to acknowledge it, they are. Nobody's getting away from not feeling things right now. Especially, right, when we have transitions of the moon when we have eclipses, right? These things are there for a reason, and it's bringing up, up old, old wounds that need to be healed. So go to your favorite place, whether that's the beach, if you live by the ocean, the park, just go to the park. Walk around your block, okay, but get out. In kinesiology, when you walk, okay, on Mother Earth, it's different than a treadmill. When you walk on Earth, you do not have to be barefoot. There is grounding. This is different. This is a kine in kinesiology. It's the pattern of moving your arms and your feet as they hit Earth. And what happens is when you do that is you integrate alignment as well as process like burdened stuff in your body out. Stiff, stuck stuff. Okay? Get out of your space, find a happy space, create a happy space within your space. Okay, another thing I want you to do is change your language, okay? Whenever a negative thought comes, change your thought, press in, thought process into something that you can feel good about. For example, first of all, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not telling yourself to stop thinking a certain way. It's not getting up with yourself, upset with yourself, and it's not, using foul language. You can't tell yourself enough profanity to stop a, a neural pathway from living in negativity. Trust me. So what you want to do is when you can, when you are aware that you're thinking negative and you don't feel good about yourself. Okay, so let's say you've got this story and experience from childhood that, that you do really bad in math, okay? You're going to flip that. You're going to create the new story and you're going to say, I may not be a good, I may not be good, good in math, but I am an excellent writer. Writing comes naturally and easy for me. We all have something that comes naturally and easier to us. That's what you speak up about. We don't have to be good in math. We can still be super smart and not be good in math, everyone. I promise. So you, you acknowledge what you're good at. You might think innately, you might feel that you're not good enough to do something. You don't know enough. You're not good enough, right? You could change that to be. <clears throat> but people in my life see me differently. They value my contribution and think I am good enough by virtue of them being in my life. Tell yourself a new story. The quality of our thoughts impacts not only how we behave and interact with the world, but how we see ourselves and ultimately what we believe we are capable of. That is why it is so important for you to identify and work on your self-defeating thoughts. 
Don't let fear, stubbornness, right? Resistance eclipse your abilities. Don't let your right to divine transformation be taken from you. Not when you have so much to offer. I'd love to integrate this awareness in your mind. Integrate this knowledge and help you to visualize that you can refer to this visualization that will help you integrate more positive neural pathways and all of my vis vis um, visualizations remain here in the Facebook group as well as on YouTube, all right? And I do that because you said yes, and I wanna help you and I wanna support you. So just know they're always available. And I encourage you, it's not, nothing's a one-time thing, everyone. It's getting in a consistency that helps lasting transformation. It creates lasting transformation. So with this, all right, let's go into a visualization. I will come back after the visualization and I will answer questions and, and contribute, okay? Let's do this first while I have you, okay? With this visualization, I'm going to be gently guiding you to move forward in your life, all right? It will open up the neurotransmitters to embrace more positive thought patterns on a regular basis, all right? I'm going to cover my camera because I want you to get into your body, into your space, and close your eyes, all right? So let's begin, okay? I'm so glad you're here. Let's begin. Here we go. Preferably with your eyes closed and your feet on the ground. I want you to take a breath into your lungs, mm -hmm. filling your lungs to capacity and hold. On the exhale, release the day's tensions and worries. You're setting the intention. There you go. Now the next breath, this is a belly breath, intentional. Breathing into your stomach, and as you do so, it naturally expands. Keep expanding the belly to its capacity with the breath. As you imagine, a cord is attached to the inside of your belly button and the other end attached to your spinal cord. On the exhale, sense, feel, and imagine the cord holding your stomach back to your vertebrae. There you go, come on, breathe out a little bit more. There we go, activating your central nervous system. Beautiful. One last breath. This breath, you're gonna fill your lungs again. So taking the breath into your lungs to capacity, filling your lungs to capacity, but extending the breath as you imagine the breath continuing up into your brain, activating the right and left hemisphere of your brain, activating the cells of your body to release what doesn't serve you and to integrate positive negative neural pathways on all levels and dimensions as it is in your divine right to have positive thoughts, positive neural pathways. Now, returning your breath to a normal flow. As you hear me and follow me, count from three to one. Three you are naturally becoming more deeply relaxed. Two, the sounds around you always allow you to go deeper relaxed. And one, you sense, feel, and imagine that you are standing in the middle of a large room that is shaped as a circle. This large room is surrounded in mirrors. You see that you are standing on a dark hardwood floor. The floor has white lines in it that look like lightning bolts that you'd see up in the sky. They run up and down the wood panels of the floor, 
formulating an intricate pattern across the floor. As you curiously walk around the room, feeling the mirrors, running your hand along the mirrors as you walk in a circle around the room. You naturally are feeling for indentation of a doorway. You stop as your fingertips feel a line. Turning, you observe thin white lines in the mirror that form a rectangle. Expecting this to be a door opening, you gently lean into the rectangle and feel that it barely moves. Thinking to yourself, I'm just not smart enough to figure this out. As if the room can hear your thoughts, you see the mirror beginning to create fine lines in the in those in the same fashion as the lightning bolts on the floor. You can't help but catch your reflection through the cracked glass. And in its distorted angles, it appears like you are split into two. You walk up closer to the mirror, but oddly, the other piece of you in the cut glass moves with a different stride. You come up to the mirror and much to your amazement, this other half begins to speak to you. Do you know where you are, it asks? You shake your head no. You are inside your mind. The patterns, the distortion, are a reflection of your self-defeating thoughts. And I am the one inside your head that speaks all the negative inner chatter. I am the sum of all of your life experiences where you have felt the need to self-sabotage, to talk negatively because I believed I was helping you. I believed I was helping you as I stepped in when you felt threatened when you felt fearful or doubtful of your abilities, I've kept you safe by keeping you disempowered. But I am aware you don't need me anymore. I can feel your urge for greatness through the glass. I will no longer hold you back from positive thoughts. I will no longer hold you back from life purpose or increased abundance. You look down as this other side of you sticks out their hand magically through the mirror, revealing a single silver key. Your hands touch as you reach for the key and you feel a powerful surge run through your body, images before you flash before you, experiences that don't serve you, that have woven into a pattern of self-defeat. You're reminded of the times you've said hurtful things to yourself to make a point that you weren't good enough. The stories that you repeat to yourself, the times you have thought negative things of others because you didn't think you deserved them in their life, creating a pattern of judgment. And times you've tried for success and would take a step forward only to second guess yourself and take two steps back. Like a loose thread, the images begin to unravel themselves and the pattern begins to break apart. As the key falls into the palm of your hand, you witness the other part of you fading as you manifest true self, your new you. Confidence, abundance, 
and new positive patterns run through your brain cells, connecting the right and left hemisphere. They weave, weave through your body. They weave through your brain cells. They weave through your bone marrow. As they expand throughout all your body, your mind, and your spirit. You picture and feel self-love as bright, white light around your chest and your heart. You feel your self-defeating thought patterns being pulled out of your body like a magnet as they're drawn out by this protective light. All your negative thoughts exit your body. They are released, transmuted, and dissolved by the light. And the light will shield, protect you from any other of that part returning to you. All your negative thoughts exit your body. The room has grown quiet. It is peaceful. You can return here at any time. To experience a mind that feels clear, relief, and calm. Now, you watch as the cracks in the, in the mirror materialize back into a full piece of glass, like it's healing its own wounds like you're healing your wounds. Even the floor is returned to its original wood as the jagged pattern is healed and restored. And so it is within you. You turn your attention to the door and find that small indention, indention with your fingertip again. You put the silver key into the hole and give it one big turn. You squint as the door opens, as this beautiful golden light fills the room, reflecting its brightness into the mirror and back onto your skin. It integrates into all of your body. You Feel a smile form across your face as you confidently step into a clean, blank slate of life and increased possibilities. Bringing your awareness back to the breath. I will count from one to three and you will come back to your original space with clarity, inner peace and integration of positive thoughts and positive neural pathways. One, bringing your awareness back to your breath. Two, activating the cells in your body with your new integrated soul's truth of positive thinking and positive neural pathways. Three, eyes wide open as you are now fully accepting of receiving the new integrated you and the answers you seek. And when you're ready, come back to me. Um, Sue, you believe that it will be all consuming. Yeah, that's an illusion energy. Okay, just know that. Um, and your Vashi, you feel like you cannot sustain it. It's a very real one. I suspect that is also an inherited pattern. Um, this is where the truth of that comes in, your Vashi, for you, that you can't sustain it. We as humans, okay, each one of us, <laughs> part of our growth in this, in, you know, in our time span on earth is to go through things in our life that we can either, that we can learn from, all right? So the fear comes in is when we go from here and then we have a natural cycle of a learning experience. It feels like we're dropping off into old stuff. It can be a lot of reasons this happens. 
but it doesn't mean, okay, that it's because old stuff came back. It means there's more to embrace, to get rid of, all right? Think about it that way. It's also we can become comfortable and start to second guess ourselves, right? There can be a deep feeling of unworthiness that we're really worthy to be happy. And that can be just for a variety of reasons, inherited, right? As well as the life lessons that we watched our parents go through. We can revert to a natural state of having, um, having some, a struggle in our life, whatever that is, because we observed someone else doing it. All right, that's just an example. There's a lot of reasons, okay? Okay, I hope that helps. Um, so you're afraid of, of judgment. You know, I, I, I got gotcha. you, I understand that. Music is a good idea, Robin, for you, by the way. Yeah. Hello, Alicia, dear. Being hurt and vulnerable with someone new. And that's because of the past, right? You've done enough work, Alicia, Alicia, to know that that is not your your truth. Okay, you don't show up the same way that you used to, nor do will you say yes to everybody that knocks on your door, so to speak. Okay, you live in alignment now, right? Not that long ago, that was a struggle for you. You stay in the truth of who you are, honey. And when somebody who, like that reminds you of the past comes into your life, just don't go there, okay? It's not a new experience with a new face. It'll be a new face with the same experience. And oftentimes, these things are brought into our life, this is for everybody, okay, to test us. Have we learned? Have we learned from the past, everyone? It comes up. It's part of our human experience. It's not because you didn't get it right. OK, it's giving you an, an opportunity to gain confidence in who you are. Say no to old patterns when they surface. OK, all right. I hope that helps, Alicia. Um, Sue, you catch the old thought, lower thoughts constantly. That's great. OK, good. I want that. Oh, I'm glad that you found it useful. All right. Thank you for being here. Okay, there was a lot of content tonight, today, and um, come back and watch it. Okay, the script will be up with it, and you'll be able to um, read it as you watch it, right? And then do the visualization because this is a powerful visualization that will connect your neural pathways. All right, you are here to do great things. Great things mean something different to everybody, but one thing that is consistent is it is in your divine right to have trust in yourself. It is in your divine right to experience more happiness and joy. Okay, And it is in your divine right to be successful in different quadrants of your life. It doesn't just have to be success in business. It can be. But if you have success in business, you can also have success in your family life. And by the way, by embracing one can also mean that other things will happen in your life. So you can have a fear of success because you feel like it will take away from your family. That's a story, okay? That's a story. All right. Sending you off in much love, much gratitude that you are here. And I will come in and I will respond, all right? And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.